Kimberly from Cross Stitch University. Welcome back. Today, we're gonna talk about how you prepare your fabric for your stitching. In our previous video, we determined that this pattern finishes at five and an eighth by five and an eighth. This fabric is going to be more than enough for what you need, so it's a much bigger piece. Now, this brand of Ada does not have a right or wrong side, and we're going to take this fabric iron it and come back and tell you how to cut it down. For this pattern, we have cut our fabric into an 11 inch square and it doesn't have to be exact. And when you iron, you're still gonna have some creases, just leave those there, it's not a big deal. And I'm gonna show you now how we came up with 11 inches. So this is just for visual demonstration. This square is five and an eighth by five and an eighth which is our finished size. For your pattern, for beginners, we like to have a three inch border all the way around, leaving an 11 inch square. As you get more experienced, you can make that smaller to a two inch border on all four sides. Now cross stitch fabric can fray, so let's talk about the edges of your cloth and how you can keep it from fraying. The easiest way is to use painter's tape. This is one and a half inches wide, and you can get that at any kind of hardware store, and you just tape one side and the other side, and you just keep the edges covered. Another option would be to use a sewing machine and just do a simple zigzag stitch. And your third option is to just leave it empty because we gave you such a large margin and see how that works out for you. I'm going to use the fabric that has the zigzag stitch on it. That's usually what I use. And we're going to go ahead and put this fabric in a Q-snap. If you're a beginner, I really recommend starting with the Q-snap. It's important to not use a knockoff brand because they will not work as well and you might get frustrated with the results. We've picked a size that's bigger than your finished size because you don't want the Q-snap to cover your stitches and slightly smaller than your cut size. So we have a finished size of five, a cut fabric size of 11, so eight by eight works great. I'm gonna show you how to put together the Q-snap. It's very easy. When I'm using Q-Snap, this is the original brand and inside there are grooves that's going to help the Q-Snap hold tension correctly on your fabric. So I like to just pop it kind of on top, not too much to the side. I'm going to do two opposing sides first, twist this, which makes it taut, then I'm going to do the other two sides. and twist and that gets your fabric nice and stiff. When you're poking your fabric, you don't want it to go down too much. You want it to be very taut so when you're doing your stitches, it's nice and flat. It'll take a couple of times just to get it straight, but now the weave of my fabric is straight horizontally and vertically and it's gonna be nice and easy to stitch on. And that's how you prepare your cross stitch fabric. If you have any questions, just comment below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you're notified when the next Cross Stitch University comes out. Class dismissed.